ギリギリのスピークで世界は終わってくんだ今僕だけにできることを探しに行こう雨上がりのバス停でピンと咲いたあの Yo, we meet again. Oh, right. I guess this is more of a nice to meet you, huh? Either way, glad to see you're taking an interest in this dimension again. The history you create's always fascinating. Take a look. These are the records of the very dimension you saved in the past. Hm? Have you already forgotten? Well, I guess I can't blame you. It has been a while. Well, don't sweat it. I've already recorded that history. You'll remember soon enough. Huh? Looks like Eastwar is calling ya. All right, it's time I head out. Later. Uh, player? 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 I'm down here. Please, look down here. Goodness, you weren't listening to a single word, were you? I will explain it once more, so you better listen carefully this time. This world has been created from parts of your world and our own, weaving together. According to Krar, this sort of world is called the VR dimension. However, it seems there is still much she does not understand, as she was unable to explain anything further. This room is influenced by both of our worlds, but it seems the effects of your world are much stronger. And, for that reason, we have decided to simply refer to it as the Player's Room. This room may be accessed using a gate, but the VR Dimension's coordinates are unstable. I'll be coming by periodically to adjust them. Still, it is almost like a dream that we are able to interact with the player like this. We have been made aware of your existence long ago, but we could not find a way to speak with you directly. That is why, until recently, we've only communicated with you through the thank you for playing corner. 
Were you aware? I apologize. I have veered off topic. I will now explain the various commands that can be executed within the player room. First, about this object which I received from Krar. It is the historical record of your past guidance, and I have prepared it as a game. Please, play it if you desire. Additionally, the goddesses of the Four Nations will come to visit this player room eventually. Although, they will not unexpectedly visit you. You will be able to welcome them in at a more convenient time using this object. It seems Neptune and the others have things they wish to discuss with you, and I would be quite pleased if you could meet with them. This concludes my explanation of the player room. Did you understand it? I am glad. If you ever need a more detailed explanation, do not hesitate to let me know. Things may become more noisy on occasion, but I hope we can get along from now on. When they call player, right? Isti probably filled you in. Well, I guess you might already know, but my name's Neptune. It's nice to meet ya. Ah, you've met my bigger self, right? I guess that means from your perspective that I'm the smaller Neptune, doesn't it? So, um, my name gets pretty tricky for people in our dimension to say, so you can call me whatever you want. Anyway. Ah, that's a really cool game console. The games are... Mm. Ooh, wowie! You've got all kinds of genres, too. You've got some really great stuff here. Your manga collection is so interesting, too. What a cool room. I've been to lots of different worlds, but I don't recognize any of the manga or games you have in here. I know. I'll just tell Isti I'm going to study the outside world to expand my horizons. Is it okay if I visit you again? <laughs> Right. I'd love it if you had some snacks and drinks ready for me the next time I visit. <laughs> Just kidding. Whoops. You know, there's more to this than me just having fun with you. I actually wanted to thank you for saving me, too. Ah, just when I was getting used to you, we ran out of time. We'll continue this chit-chat later. Thanks for letting me visit. I'll be back soon, so <laughs> see ya. Since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion. Except, it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself, willingly into this maelstrom. But, it's pulled me down deeper, and with more violence than I could have ever imagined. This 
whirlpool of delusion. Please give me an answer. Anyone, please. Save me. Game industry, a world which exists outside of our reality, where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules, Planetune. The nation where CPU Black Heart rules, Last Station. The nation where CPU White Heart rules, Loi. The nation where CPU Green Heart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of Sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Hmm, I think it came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the Zero Dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicom for safekeeping. Yeah. Here, look and look! I found a super cool vintage game console! Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later! Also, welcome home, Neptune! I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Gah! It's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoire. Or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history and, right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... Yeah, Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of a game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? 
Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey, don't just let me in with those lazy idiots, Iswar. Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Nation, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul, aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptunior, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety, yet again. Anyone, please, save us! Huh? N Neptune, did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptunior. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! Yikes! What in the what is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Oh no! What should we do? I can't move! Neptune! We're getting sucked in! Slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then. Night, Nepgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just 
Here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit! Let's go! around hmm that's pretty weird you'd think there'd at least be a cat a hologram or something hey anyone here there's something really eerie about this place neptune those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks you're right they're all green and pretty I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Hmm, would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? Don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little Nep. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. I hope so. <laughs> Eek! Ahem. <clears throat> that was just k kind of loud is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Nep Jr., my protag rule set has found local person number one. Oh, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it! It's full of murderous intent! Uh, I guess so, huh? <laughs> and here I thought we'd finally run into someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice! Nepgear, let's transform and stop it! Right! Behold my power! Processor unit, set! Um... Huh? But... nothing happened? <laughs> ah! Hey, that's dangerous! Oh. I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. I don't think a monster will understand even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it. Okay. Start the tutorial battle! Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, alright? Okay. I've never 
seen this monster before. It looks strong. I'll have to focus. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. Okay. HDD. But why couldn't we transform? Oh! What's up, Neptune? Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares. So, to be missing... <laughs> Ridiculous. It's gone. What? Why? Shares are the faith people have in CPUs. It's impossible for them to be at zero. And for us to be unable to transform in a post apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. But please calm down, Neptune. Also, that monster we just fought? Have you ever seen anything like it before? That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kind of wish I never had. What about you? It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? 
Can we actually get out of here alive? I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. Neptune, I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go. You look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. Okay. out. I wonder what happened here. Hey, Nep Jr., let's try climbing to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune! <sighs> this can't be... What? What? What, what is this? No way. Just where... is this? Hmm... Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! I see somebody! Hmm? Oh wow, you're right! I think it's a girl! Oh no! She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters! There's no way a local could fight against that many! Let's go, Nepgear! Yeah, let's go help her! Halfway through evacuation. I'd advise you start heading back now. What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? Half? We need to get them all out of here. Besides, if I leave these bastards alone, they're just gonna be on our tails all night. This is gonna end right here! Uh. Dear me. Just don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. 
I'm the only one who can fight anyway. Hey! Uh. Hmm? We found our first citizen! Hey there! People? I could have sworn there were a lot more monsters before we got here. Did, did she defeat them all by herself? Man, I'm just glad we finally ran into someone. Hey, lady, could you tell us where we... Oh, reinforcements now of all times? Come again? Chill out, lady. I'm just trying to... <laughs> You're not half bad. The name's Uzume Tenoboshi. What's yours? <laughs> Neptune! It's Neptune! Nep... <sighs> Your name's freaking hard to pronounce. I get that a lot. Hmm. You're a lot stronger than you look. You're like the perfect prelude to it. Dang it! Just listen to me! We're already super tired from getting sucked into that crazy vortex, and I'm just trying to get back! Sorry, but I'm not the type to get all cozy with the enemy. If you think you can fool me by pretending to be human, you've got another thing coming. We're not enemies! Just listen to me! Seriously, like, I know I'm number one on Game Industries Hot 100 chart for nicest people ever, but I'm about to get super pissed off! Game it? Ugh, what the hell are you even talking about? Eat this! Chest Buster! Stop! Huh? huh? Please stop, you two! Um, your name was Uzume, yes? Like my sister said, we have no intentions of fighting with you. In fact, I'd be really happy if you could help us. So, um... Can you just listen to us for a minute? We aren't going to attack you, I promise. Yeah, what's your problem? Just help us, jeez. Neptune, this is your fault too. Why are you picking fights with strangers? Uh, <laughs> my bad. I was getting a little too hyped. Uh... Ugh, there are still a few stragglers. All right, whoever you girls are, this is gonna have to wait until I clean this up. Yeah, let's mop this spit up. I wanted us to stop fighting. It's too late for that. Here we go. All right, step right up, you ugly sacks of flesh. My name is Uzume Tanoboshi, and you're all already dead. I've been waiting! You can see me! Owie! Now, who to choose? Target confirmed. No! Out! Target no! acquired. Please take down. Oh, nephew all up. Warning. Warning. up. Failed. this all. Don't mess with me. You were such a pain. I finished this stylishly. Level up. Yay, I leveled up. Yeah, level up. Dungeon cleared, or whatever. I'm finished over here, too. Is it really over? 
I guess I'll thank you two for now, but just be honest with me. You're not its underlings, are you? Hmm. Uzume, I'm not sure what it is, but like I said before, we aren't here to fight. We're just looking for help. There are really humans that survived? I can't believe it! How many times do I have to nepping tell you? We aren't the bad guys! No, I know! I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I can't remember the last time I've seen people, let alone fight alongside them. It was wrong of me to attack you the way I did. Please, forgive me. It's okay. I'm just so glad you... Oh, it's all good, Uzume. I know how it goes. I'm just relieved to know there are other people roaming around these parts. Well, I'm actually the only other person here. That aside, if you're not its underlings, who the hell are you girls? You seem pretty strong, but... Hmm... We're... How do you say... Lost. We suddenly found ourselves in this city. We were looking around to see if there was anyone else. And we finally found you. Lost? You mean there are others who failed to escape and are surviving in other cities? Failed to escape? From what? Surviving? <laughs> hey! I thought we cleared the dungeon. What the heck is it now? Finally, it's arrived. Boss already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? I don't know who or what that thing is either, but it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right, and it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. All righty. Now I'm getting all fired up, too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect. In fact, bring it on. Neptune! Nep Junior, I'm the pro tag. There's no way I'll lose. I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. I do what I want, and I want to help. Please be reasonable, you two. If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic. Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh yeah, I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run. Far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head-on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough, but a pack of monsters too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble! You girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna... Run away! No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Hmm? Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune... Okay, you're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh, what freaking ever! 
You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. Yep, yeah! Then, at the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? From the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there. Here we are, my base, although I guess it's more of an abandoned building than a base, but better than being out in the open. Ooh, using a dingy old building like this as your secret base is so freaking cool. Yeah, you have everything here, a safe place to sleep, food, recovery items, even a communications terminal. It's just like a rebel hideout from an anime. What? You guys actually understand? Wicked cool the space is. Wicked cool the space is. Duh. Yes, of course. Okay, I see. I see now. If you. If you two get how cool this place is, then you can't be that bad at all. Now, we don't have much time, so I'll give you a quick rundown of our enemy. Like I said before, that giant thing is the main culprit behind it, it, all the destruction you've seen. But its size isn't the only thing you should be worried about. That monster holds the power to erase life forms out of their existence. This is the reason why all the humans who lived in this nation are no longer are here with us. What? They're all gone? Gone? I, I see. This is why our share energy was. I, I don't want to believe it. How does that even make sense? Did they all just disappear? Because of that big giant? It's hard to say. I don't know much about everything that's happened myself. After the humans left, that's so weird to say. Lots of intelligent creatures move into the area. They're very kind and some are even able to talk. So our objective in this current mission is to buy enough time for them all to safely evacuate the city. Ooh, so... Those are the others you were talking about before. I have a question though. On any... Aren't any of the monsters fit to be your allies? Unfortunately, we're the only ones who can fight. Yikes. It's amazing you've been able to fight by yourself all this time. Yeah, I'm amazed. I'm still kicking. We've always been chased by that thing. It feels like... It feels like all we know to do anymore is run for our lives. 
I'm terrified when I wake up, wake to the sound of its footsteps shaking the ground. What's worse is that we're running out of places to escape to. Uzume, did you think there's any way to defeat this giant for the good, for good, and lay all this to rest? That's right. We can just destroy it. You won't have to keep running anymore. This is all... This would all go away if we just do that, right? Hey, come on. Don't you think I've tried? I've scuffled with that thing so many times and I've never even come close to injuring it. No way. Don't make that face. Even if it's... It's... Even if... It's impossible now. I've been com coming up with a plan to defeat it. It's just not ready. All right. So we don't have a lot of time before. Yeah, it's me. What's the status on the evacuation? Uzume, I'm relieved to hear your voice. We're roughly 70% 70 70 complete with the evacuation. Still, a lot left, huh? I apologize. We're moving as fast as we can. Don't sweat it. Just make make sure everyone gets out of, out of there safely. Understood. Be careful out there, Uzume. Hey, who was that? He sounds handsome. Is he a friend? Yeah, he is. We caught him on a good day. He can get a little cranky sometimes. We better get going soon though. Make sure you don't leave anything behind. We won't be coming back here. Right. Thank you all for listening to my horrible dubbing skills. This may, this place might be in shambles, but it's here that we can at least buy items. So it's, so it's only got a bare minimum of items lined up though. Ooh, all the story items that any respectable game should have are here. Teach me, Histy. Alright, thank you again for listening to my horrible dubbing skills. Basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy? Nep- 
Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname, so I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearsy. Gearsy? Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearsy. Gearsy. Gearsy, huh? <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. this all I'm not letting you out of this alive of fury. taken care of all the monsters in the area. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. It's a lot larger than the ones we just fought. 
<laughs> you bastard! Of course you would be here! What? Uzume, are you acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. Hey, you mutt! This ends today! Right here, right now! That's a share crystal? Today, this is going to end differently, because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant! Share crystal! Transform! Transformation complete! <laughs> Who are, are you? you? you two. My turn!
No need to thank us. We're friends now. I'd go to bat for you any day of the week. She's right. We're friends now. Um, so, what's your name, CPU Uzume? It's Orange Heart. That's so cool. I was really surprised by your transformation, Uzume. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HDD form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs too. What? Like for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dugoos in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. Except, I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Gearsy? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Ugh, ran out of time. Ran out of time? Oh, right! It looked like you were using a share crystal to transform. What the goodness? It's still alive? Damn it! You're a resilient bastard, aren't you? Do you want another beating, you idiot? Shoot! Any more of this is gonna be tough, even for me. But if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end. It ran away? Ha! It's running away because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, ha! Keep on walking, tough guy. Neptune, I think it's just leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant! W wait just a second, Uzume. How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to... We'll keep going till the very end. You know that's not what I mean. All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. <sighs> attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Are you okay, Uzume? Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh crap! Did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? Have they all been evacuated? Uzume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh, good. We just made it. Yes, they're safe now. Thanks to you, Uzume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. 
But don't you think it's time we escape as well? Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? <laughs> Watch out! Huh? Ew! Just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. Neptune! Uzume! Are you both all right? We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsy. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? It's too risky. Let's get out of here while we still Shut can. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you want to leave, then just go. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No, I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die. Even if I have to go down with it, I'll... Yeah! Uh, ouch! What the hell are you doing? You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. R rope? I... I think she meant to say hope. Yeah, that's the word, hope. All the good little monsters were able to escape. Isn't that good enough for now? You don't need to push yourself, pal. Anyway, that's how it's gonna be. Nepgear, give me a hand here. Okay! Whoa, Kay! Okay. Let me go, you jerks! You can't just pick me up like this! Put me down! Got a good grip on her, Nep Jr.? Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! <sighs> Phew. I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed either. You idiots! Getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people and how could... Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kind of needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know? Yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so thank you. <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use. Let's try going here. So what's with the giant thing, with that giant thing, um, is it going to make its way over here So at some point, is it, am I going to need to sh show it my final form? Don't worry, looks like after its little rampage it disappeared again, that's usually what it does. Oh, so we made it out safely? Well, yeah, but that area is, it destroyed it. It destroyed is... Well, yeah, but that area is destroyed. It no good. It's no good to us anymore. I'm a little worried. We're running out of places to go to. But I'm glad everyone got out okay. Plus, we're able to seriously injure that mutt. Even the victims... Even the small victories are pretty sweet. You girls are pretty worn out too, right? I've got some food if you're hungry and blankets if it gets cold. Make yourselves at home. I'm home! Hey, Uzume. I've got a question about that thing. Hmm? You mean about that giant? Yeah. 
We keep calling it stuff like the giant or that thing. But does it actually have a name? A name, huh? Well... I never really thought about it. I wonder if it has a name at all. You don't know anything about its real identity? Either... Either, right? Like it came... From what its purpose is here. I don't know anything about that. It's not that I can just talk to it at all. All I know is it's, it's just on a war path wherever it appears. When it destroys cities, it erases them from existence. They just vanish. I keep saying, I keep saying it, we're, uh, but we're really out of places to hide. What? Those cities just... They just vanish? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's... Not... N that's not all. I haven't seen... I haven't seen himself. But there are also three other giants. They have destroyed th uh, three other... Uh, 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 other three nations. Sorry for my pro awful wood oven feels. There are four of those things? Oh jeez, we really picked a bad time to visit this place. So I've been meaning to ask, but where did you and Gearzy come from, Nipsey? Hmm, we live in Planetune. Planetune. Ever heard of it? Hey, do you know how we can get back there? Planetune. Mmm. What's wrong, Uzume? Uh, oh, nothing. It, it's really just a fatigue catching up to me. I don't think so. So, Planetune, sorry, was it? Was it sorry? But I don't think I've ever heard of it. I see. Only, there is a possibility that it's a nation across the ocean. Across the ocean, huh? Yeah. But I've never been. I'm not sure what's over there. Then does it mean that we've crossed the ocean and ended up on another con a continent without even knowing it? Is that possible? I can't say if I'm very con very convinced. But it would explain why Nepgill. Why the end gear has no reception. And why we can't transform. Do you remember how we even got here? It, it didn't seem like you flew or anything. We actually are not sure of that ourselves. I pressed the power button on a game console. I was trying to I was trying to fix. Then a giant vortex appeared and sucked us in, and we ended up in this city. A vortex? No matter how you look at it, faraway continent or not, it must it must be that must be what warped you guys here. Oh hey, it's been bothering us for a while. But why can't we feel any shares here? Well, there aren't any people anywhere. What? There must be humans in places. There must be some humans in places. I don't know. I don't know about. But I've never seen any. So that's why we couldn't feel any share power at all. And that's why you use a share crystal to transform. But where did you even find a share crystal anyway? Those are insanely rare. Oh, it was just lying around here somewhere. W what? You just find share crystals on the ground? Is that normal here? Definitely. Oh gosh. Th that's impossible. Share crystals are what... Oh, the condensed crystallizations of invisible share energy. How can they just be found on the ground? That's right. 
some that something is wrong. In order to manufacture the share crystal, you need a huge amount of share a huge amount of shares and a special formula in order to crystallize it. Before fighting, so before this when fighting, an enemy called a, a deity of sin, the oracles of our nation created share crystals, but barely managed to make four. Four of those just be lying around in the open. Ha, huh. so it's that's how share crystals are made. To be honest, I don't even know why share crystals are lying on the ground. So for you, they're like slightly rare items, but they can give you a temporary boost in shares. Yeah, something like that. That's why I always carry them around with me, so I won't uh, run out. Look. Amazing. This might be the first time I've seen such a large pile of share crystals. It's embarrassing. But I can't go to, to HDD unless I have these things. So my allies are always on the lookout for me. Look out for them. Oh man. You're really living the life on the edge. <laughs> can't be helped. Besides, it's good to have something to rely on. Well, you can rest assured from now on, even if I, if I can't transform, the goddess of victory is on my side. I've got high hopes for you guys. Alright then, if that's the case, then let's celebrate by having a delicious juicy juice party. Nepgear, lend me your strength. You got it. To think those two turned out to be CPUs <laughs> with that headache just now. Flannel turn. Even though it's my first time hearing it. Why does it make me feel so uneasy? Right. I'm gonna call it quits here and probably come back tomorrow. With another hour and 25 minutes. Thank you, people. Are you the player? We haven't actually met. My name's Noir, the goddess of Last Station. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry to drop in like this. I've been wanting to meet you, so I thought I'd just come over.
Am I bothering you? That's great! I was worried you might be a little too busy for me. This room looks pretty nice, but... I think it could use a personal touch. I'd like to organize it a little bit. Hey! Uh, if it's okay with you, could I clean up around here when I come and visit? That's great news! <laughs> Just leave it to me! But don't leave everything in a big mess just because you'll know I'll clean it up, okay? I'll have to tell the others that, too. Especially Neptune. Anyway, I usually spend a lot of time hanging out at my friends' houses. They like to leave their games and manga lying around, and I always end up helping them clean up their stuff. And it's not like I'm a bossy lady or some kind of clean freak, you know. I just don't really like messy rooms. I have lots of friends, so it's difficult to keep up with them all. Uh, uh, was that a little too much? I know that you're able to interact with other dimensions, so you probably know a little bit about me, don't you? You know, it is true that I visit my friends like Neptune pretty regularly. But also, I think it's difficult to label these relationships so one-sidedly. We're all goddesses, and we're friends, but we're rivals, too. And, well, it's not like we don't get along. In fact, it seems like we've actually been getting close lately. I, I, I feel like I keep talking about weird things. Um... I'm realizing this is the first time I've been in the room of someone who isn't one of the goddesses. It's probably just making me nervous. Huh? W what's up? Why are you staring? It's just gonna make me feel worse. Hey, can we turn on the AC or something? Uh, anyway... There's a lot of stuff I want us to talk about next time. I decided I'm gonna come over a little more often, so you better be ready. D I, I mean, if that's all right with you, of course. I'd be really happy if you let me visit again. But for now, I'm just glad I got to finally meet you. That said, I'm gonna get going. East War told us to be careful since maintaining the gate coordinates can be tricky. See you around! My name is Blan. I'm the goddess of Louis. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. I said that out of habit. You're the player, so you already know about me, don't you? Histoire gave me a brief explanation earlier. Anyway... What? Why... Why are you staring at my face? It's just a little... embarrassing. By the way, I thought I saw a bookshelf in here. Ah, oh, there it is. 
What a relief. I'm glad you have one. I wasn't sure if that's what it was when I came through the gate. See, I... I really love books. I'm interested in all kinds of genres. However... Lately, for reasons, I've been reading a light novel. Player, do you like reading books? Really? You mean it? That's great! I'd like it if we could recommend some books to each other. It's a lot of fun learning about what hobbies other people are into. I love how words can unlock my imagination. It's great how reading does that so easily. It's a little easier for me to read because I like doing that. Some people don't have as much fun, though. They find it tiring. Light novels are easier for people like that. There isn't a lot of exposition to wade through, and since it's mostly dialogue, it's fairly easy to read. A lot of them are illustrated, too. They're the perfect novels for beginners. Wouldn't you agree? I knew you would, player. I'm happy you can understand the light novel's appeal. My passionate rambling was worth it. You know, my favorite author has an interesting story. What's crazy is that person never intended to become an author. She was journaling all of her adventures. That's all she intended to do, but her writing skills improved with every entry. When her adventure diary was finally published, it made the bestseller list rather quickly. Other writers who began with journals or light novels usually evolve and write more literary works, bringing their secret worlds to life. The methods of expression among writers are as endless as the methods to interpret their writing. It's in the discussions and analysis that this theory is... Oh! The two of us just met, but here I am, talking your ears off about my little hobby. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm gonna go now. I just came here to say hello, but I got carried away. I'm honestly surprised. I'm not very good at conversation, and I hardly ever do this sort of thing. But I've been wanting to meet you. I just had a lot I wanted to talk to you about. Oh no, I'm gonna start rambling again. This was nice. I'm going to come back and visit. Is that okay? Well, thanks for listening today. See you. Oh, hello there. My name is Vert, and I am the goddess of Leanbox. Hmm, I have introduced myself, but I believe that you already know who I am. Is that correct? Hmm, so it is true that you possess the power of interdimensional interaction. <laughs> I suppose I am not surprised. Upon seeing your face, I have felt that this is not the first time that we have met. I must admit, this feels strange. Oh my, do you happen to feel embarrassed? <laughs> what a surprise! You appear to be much friendlier than I imagined. Oh, 
please forgive me. I have yet to explain information that is pertinent to our current situation. Eastwar had informed me somewhat of your identity and the special role you have here. I was told that your existence is abnormal and that you hold a unique power to interact with alternate dimensions. However, now that we have actually made contact, I have to say I had quite a different image of you in my head. I am surprised and relieved. Hmm. You have such lovely consoles. This is the perfect environment for anyone to indulge in the wonderful world of gaming. Oh, I apologize. Instincts were kicking in, as it were. It is occasionally embarrassing, but it is truly work-related. Whenever I visit someone's room, I habitually peruse their gaming setup. Um, I understand that this was my first time meeting you, but was it rude of me to look through your personal game collection? <laughs> I am glad that is the case. <laughs> this is a very lovely room. Let us collaborate in order to create the ultimate gaming room. Oh, is it time already? I did happen to drop in suddenly. I suppose I should be leaving now. Otherwise, I might just overstay my welcome. Okay, then. I will be taking my leave now, player. I must say, today was a wonderful first meeting. I do hope we will interact much more from now on. Uh -huh.